students i am your biology teacher swati and in this video lecture we are going to discuss the unit the fundamental unit of food so students in today's lecture we are going to discuss about the various kinds of movements which are observed in the cell okay as i told you that cell is a dynamic place that means something or other is always happening in a cell that there are some substances which are moving inside the cell and there are certain substances which are moving outside the cell and various repair and other processes are going on okay so first of all we will discuss the process of osmosis so osmosis basically is the flow of water through a semi permeable membrane so before knowing uh, that how the osmosis work we should know what actually the semi permeable membrane is so semi permeable membrane basically is the membrane which permits only selective substances through it okay so suppose if we are having a box is there and we have separated that box by some semi permeable membrane so from and at one side some substances there so only some selective amount of that substance will be able to pass on other side of the solution okay so in similar way the flow of water through a semi permeable membrane is known as osmosis because the membrane does not allow the molecules to pass through it osmosis is a selective process we say that osmosis generally is a selective process that means when selective uh, like particles will be able to pass through that membrane not each and every particle will be able to pass along with the water through that membrane and typically water is the sole free flowing molecules across this barrier so mostly that water is only able to pass this membrane as you can see in this diagram in this side uh, before like there were less water molecules and on opposite side the concentration of uh, solute particles was very high and after some time after the process of osmosis we can see that water molecules have moved from left side to the right side of this uh, beaker and the level of water have increased from low level to the high level okay for instance suppose take two flasks and fill one with the mild sugar solution and other with the highly concentrated sugar solution okay so this you can try at home also students you have to take two flasks and in one you have to take like a normal sugar solution and in one you have to take highly concentrated sugar solution okay and a semi permeable membrane separate the two beaker okay so you will see that the water will then flow from the side of a beaker where it is uh, like where like water will move from low solute concentration to the high solute concentration okay so the water will flow from the side of the beaker where it is more to the side where it is less because it is permeable or selectively permeable the membrane enables only water to travel through it and not sugar okay and this you have to remember that suppose you at one side you are having more solute particles and at one side you are having less solute particles so water will move from low solute concentration to the high solute concentration side okay now we should know what actually the solute is solution is and solvent is so when uh, like solute is a substance which is present in lesser amount in the solution whereas solvent is the substance which is present in higher amount in the solution and when solute and solvent and combine together they will form a solution okay so in that way a solution is formed and we have seen that in the process of osmosis we will see the movement of water from low concentration side to the higher concentration side with the help of a semi permeable membrane so in that way only the process of osmosis takes place okay here you can see here the concentration of solute uh, molecules is very less only like 5 to 6 solute molecules are there and whereas on right side many solute particles are there so now we have to decide that what will be the direction of movement of water whether water will move from low solute concentration to the high solute concentration or high solute concentration to the low solute concentration okay so now you can see that like 
uh, earlier the level of water was same in both the side but after some time after the process of osmosis on right side where the concentration of solute particles was very high the concentration of water have also increased the level of water have increased from this to do this level because of the movement of water through the semi permeable membrane so the movement of solvent from low to high solute concentration basically happens in the process of osmosis next is the process of diffusion which is the transfer of any material from one concentration to another suppose uh, like we are uh, we have normally seen that whenever we spray dios and others like after some time the fragrance of dio spreads in all of our room the whole of the house this happens because of the process of diffusion diffusion can occur in any medium either it can be solid liquid and gases can also be there like this example you can see that you have taken a glass of water and you just put one drop of ink in that water and after some time what you will observe is slowly slowly that ink will get completely mixed in the water and the color of water changes uh, from completely transparent to blue color okay this is due to the fact that gas particles are energetic and the process of diffusion is quite higher in the case of gases as i told you the example of deodorants or the sprays which we use uh, so because the gases have a higher diffusion power this is because the gas particles are more energetic due to the, their high kinetic energy diffusion is a flow of gases in and out of the cell for example like whenever your mother cooks your favorite food for you uh, like after some time the because of the amazing aroma and of that food you get attracted to that like where it is an except an expectedly prepared for you by your mother this is related to the dispersion process only because of the process of dispersion and diffusion only that aroma gets mixed with all of the surrounding air and you are able to inhale that air and hence you can smell that food okay when food is prepared in the kitchen the aromatic molecules from the kitchen begin to move out into the kitchen surrounding and over time it gets distributed in the air so these are the two processes okay in a uh, case of osmosis you have seen that there is the movement uh, through the some semi permeable membrane whereas in diffusion it is the transfer of any material from one concentration to the another and it can occur in any medium either it can be solid liquid and gases can also be there but yes if you have to compare the diffusion rate between solids liquids or gases so you can say that yes the diffusion rate will be higher in gaseous molecules because of their high kinetic energy okay in this image you can clearly see that the, uh, on left side we have shown the process of osmosis in which there is the movement of water uh, pure water uh, from uh, to the uh, solution side okay so like water will move from low solute concentration to the high solute concentration whereas in diffusion what happens is there is movement from high concentration to the low concentration because if we are taking a glass of water and we will put one drop of ink so the concentration of ink is concentrated at one point but after some time what will happen is it will get diffused to all of its surrounding region so in that way the process of diffusion actually takes place okay so this diagram i have put so that you can compare and analyze both of the process that what actually happens and you should not confuse between osmosis and diffusion yeah in similar words you can say that we yeah, are okay fine oh, diffusion and osmosis are the same process but major difference is osmosis take is through the help of a semi permeable membrane so semi permeable membrane is very very important when we talk about osmosis after osmosis and diffusion comes the type of solution so uh, as i told you that how the solution is made the so solution basically is made when a solute and solvent are mixed together a solution is made okay so on like now we can see that there are three types of solution so 
firstly we have isotonic solution isotonic similar so isotonic solutions basically are the solution that have the same concentration of solutes and ph as the surrounding body fluid or cytoplasm suppose if we are having a cell okay so if uh, the concentration of the solutes inside and outside will be same okay so that is known as isotonic solution if we talk about hypotonic solution they are the solution that have a lower solute concentration than the surrounding fluid and they will cause the cell to rupture because of that what will happen we know that the concentration of solute is high outside and inside it is low so as you have seen in the process of osmosis what will happen the water will move from inside of the cell to outside of the cell okay and how it will take place by the rupturing of plasma membrane and will cause the cell to rupture due to an excess of water entering the cell okay so what uh, actually happens is hypotonic solution are those that have lower solute concentration than the surrounding fluid and will cause the cell to rupture due to excess of water entering the cell. then come hypertonic solution they are the solution that have a greater solute concentration than the surrounding so force water out of the cell shrinking it hence the water will move out of the cell and hence the cell will shrink so these basically are the three types of the solution isotonic in which outside and inside the concentration of solute will remain same in hypotonic what happens is uh, the solute concentration inside is low and outside is higher because of which what happens is the rupturing of cell will take place where is the hypertonic solution inside of the cell have greater solute concentration in comparison to the surrounding fluid and so it will force water out of the cell and hence the cell will shrink see in case of hypertonic solution you can see what will happen is that the uh, process of plasmolysis will take place basically because of the rupture of the cell whereas in case of hypotonic hypotonic solution cytolysis will take place but which means that the cell will swell up and in case of isotonic there will be no change in the cell it is because of that it is saying i am also because there is no effect of that so the concentration of the isotonic here you can see when we have hypertonic solution the water is moving outside of the cell hence the cell have become plasmolyzed okay because the rupture of plasma membrane have taken place whereas in hypotonic solution what is happening is the water from outside is coming inside the cell and because of that the cell have become turgid because of excess of the excess swelling of the water the turgid pressure have been applied on both the cell and in isotonic solution uh there will either be movement of both outside or either inside it will be a balance so in that way the uh various cases are seen in the case of cell so the hypotonic for an analogy you can remember that hypotonic someone who is more to more to or a more to kind of a person so if hypotonic solution is there a cell will swell up or the turgid cell will be there whereas in case of hypertonic solution it will be patlu so if it will be patlu the plasmolysis of cell will take place and it will happen because of the rupture of the cell wall and isotonic it is intelligent so it will be balanced neither it will be moto neither it will be patlu it will be a fixed cell so in that way the process take place so i hope students you have understood the process of osmosis which is the movement of water molecules through a semi permeable membrane then we have seen what is diffusion and how the process of diffusion basically occurs then the type of cells what is hypertonic solution isotonic solution hypotonic solution what is turgid what is turgid pressure so when a cell swells up the excess of water inside the water will push the walls of the cell because of that a pressure is developed which is known as turgid pressure and plasmolysis means the rupturing of the cell or hence if we are having a plasmolysed cell that means a cell which is without a plasma so in that with these different different cases are there that's all for today's video students keep learning stay blessed bye bye thank you